Hey, I'm Mark McGrath from Financial Edge Group, and I want to talk to you about some opportunities that came up in the most recent budget that impacts clients that we work with, particularly in the retirement space. And this is partly why it's important to have a financial advisor on your side who's always keeping up to date with these changes. There's a fair bit of info and changes that happen all the time, and the rules that it might be relevant for someone one year might be different to someone else in the future. So there's two big things that we focus on in retirement that came out of the budget, which are going to create some great opportunities for our clients. One of those is the downsizer contribution, which has been in place for a couple of years now, but what they're doing is they're reducing the age of who can make that contribution. For Since it came to an exception, it's always been you've got to be aged over 65 to make a downsizer contribution. But the rules that are changing on the 1st of July, 2022, is that that age limit will drop to 60. So there's a lot more people that will fit into that space now where they'll be eligible to make a downsizer contribution. I've done a whole nother video on the downsizer contribution. So go and check that out on our website or YouTube channel under Financial Edge Group to explain what that is and how it works. But there's a whole segment of market now that's gonna open up that should definitely be looking at that downsizer contribution, which is important to check out out. The other big change, which is even more exciting, which I think we're gonna do a lot of planning with our clients around, is the changes to the non-concessional age limit. Over the last few years, the age limit is that once you're at 65 and it moved to 67, that you can no longer make contributions into super unless you're working, meeting what's called a work test. They're increasing that limit all the way up to the age of 75. So what that means is if you're in your late 60s, early 70s, up to 75, you can still contribute an amount to super. Now, is that beneficial to do in your situation? It depends. Probably important to get some advice around that, but it does create some opportunities where people can add more money into super, potentially save themselves some tax, pay less tax on the future, might help or improve their pension situation. There's a whole bunch of strategies that come into play, uh, and definitely something that we're gonna sit down with all our clients through and work through over the next few years, but it opens up nearly another 10 years of contributions that people can put into super which is a massive opportunity. So if you're in that age between 65 and 75, and you kind of thought, well, your chance for super was gone, or you've inherited some extra money, or your circumstances have changed, you're not really sure what you should be doing, definitely reach out and have a chat, because there's some massive opportunities that arrived in that space. Now, they don't come into play until the 1st of July, 2022, but some planning that I would encourage people to start doing now, with that in mind, to make sure that factors in as part of their financial affairs in the future. These things are always changing, so make sure you keep up to date, uh, but feel free to reach out with any questions at financialedgegroup.com.au.